Hello everyone and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This series honestly does not happen enough and unfortunately it's because it takes a long time to make videos on this. But in three weeks I am going to be done school for good. So uh, I want to try and start this series up a bit more and I want to do it a bit more. So you know if you guys like these videos please let me know and uh, thank you very much if you're watching this video because this is a really fun game and I really want to put some more time into it. So today what we're going to do, you know how I'm always like I don't know what to do in this game. Uh, if you're familiar with the series, because I pretty much say it every single time I play. I'm going to load up some um, some already made spacecrafts and like planes and things and have a look at them and like try them out and see how they go. And then I'm going to try and build something for myself. Okay, now this is supposedly a super heavy lander. I don't even know how I'm going to try it because obviously I can't really do anything with it. But holy crap, that is super loud. It is pretty much so heavy that it can't even get off the ground here on Earth. You need to have one of these on the moon or some other place that doesn't have a whole lot of gravity. I'm just gonna fly it into a building. Hold on one second, turn it, turn it other way. Oh crap, I wish I knew how to control this freaking game. Oh my god, these guys are still alive. You people are super lucky. I will get you next time. Okay, so uh, I'm hoping that when we hit this building it's gonna explode, I'm not really sure if it will or not. But uh, that's what my money is on right now guys, so we'll see. It's not a very big spacecraft, so, you know, it might not do anything, but we'll, we'll find out. Boom! Blow up your damn building! Oh, oh, what was that? Oh, 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 those explosions, because things fell out of the sky. I think I just killed three Kerbals. I'm just looking at this thing right now, and I'm like, okay, so when I built my space plane, it was super complicated and hardly even worked. And this thing is pretty much just a little tiny piece of aircraft aluminum or whatever the hell they use in these things and some fuel and a couple little wings and it's gonna fly and it's gonna be really really stable look at this look at it go like why can't my planes fly as good as this we're gonna fly over to this island over here okay if you guys didn't already know there's an island way off here in the distance and it's got another landing strip on it so we're gonna fly over there and we're gonna go to it oh there's an air intake on the bottom of this thing that's kind of weird it just looks like this thing has genitals hanging off sucking in the air that's not what genitals are for, guys. I'm just going to point that out right now. I'm not supposed to fly my plane at four times speed and try and control it. We're going to do it anyway. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Go back, back up in the air. Go back up in the air. This is nuts. Okay. We're going to just make a quick turn here. Okay. Everybody calm down. Your uh, your captain has everything under control. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Okay. Up. Oh, up. Oh. Put it back on one. Put it back on one. Holy crap. Okay. We just need to land on a landing strip. It's not that hard to do. Okay. I'm a trained professional idiot. Slow down. Slow yourself down. There you go. Okay. Is that too much? Am I going to die? Oh, crap. This is not going well. I'm just going to land up here in the mountains, okay? Make myself a little uh, a little home up here in the mountains. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Gently. Gently. Put on the brakes. Put on the brakes. Oh, crap. We're up in the air again. This is not good. Captain. Captain. Do not. Do not be alarmed. You might want to put on your brakes, though. That would be great. Oh, I think we're stopping. Yes. Oh, a safe landing up here in this grassy little hill. And now we can hop out if we want. Okay. And jump. Oh, crap. If we jump. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I just realized that we're probably not going to be able to get back up there. We'll just sit on the grass and look at the stars together. This is called the albatross. It sounds... Oh, damn. Look at that thing. Look at all the parts on that. I don't even understand how to build stuff like this, guys. That's why I'm just, like, looking at other stuff. That is pretty intense, man. You know what, guys? I bet you... I bet you that this plane could bring down a building. Okay, we're gonna, we're, we, can, we can get rid of one of these buildings with this plane. I guarantee it. Let's go. How does this plane only have two engines on it? You'd think that a plane with this much, like, I don't know, stuff on it would have more than two engines, but I guess you don't really need it. Don't ask me. I'm not a rocket scientist, okay? Or a plane scientist. or I'm not a scientist at all. I mean, I, you could call me a scientist. Everyone's a scientist, right? Everyone's a scientist in some way, shape, or form. This, this plane is really buckly. What is this freaking flappy bird here? Jesus. Okay, I'm going to try and spin it around. It'll be fine. Don't worry, kids. I want to hit that tower up there. Is that too big of a target for me? Or too small of a target? It's not too big of a target. Jesus, Matt. Come on. What's wrong with you? Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it. I'm going to do it. Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> oh, I got to go back again. Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't go upside down. Do not go upside down. Just aim for the biggest thing you can see. That's probably the best idea here. You're going to hit nothing, aren't you? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. We're coming in. We're coming in. There. Ah. Oh, yes, the building fell down. 
Yay! I don't know what happens now, guys. I'm assuming the building comes back when you revert your thingy. Because, well, I mean, it's on fire and stuff. I mean, it's going to take a while to replace that, right? I hope there was nobody in there. It's nighttime, right? Everyone goes home at night, right? Oh, God, what have I done? I don't get the building back! $480,000! Oh, shit. 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 How much money do I have? How much money do I have? Somebody help me. Wait, I don't have any money, do I? It's back! Yay! This is sandbox mode. So basically, you probably shouldn't do that in any other mode, because if you do, you're going to have to pay a lot of money to build a new one, and you're going to have to attend a lot of funerals. We are going to fly a Kerbal into the sun. Does that sound like a good idea to you? It sounds like an amazing idea to me, so we're going to do it. I've also got a new mod as well, guys. It's called uh, Procedural Fairings. I made a video on it a long time ago. I made a little UFO thing. Basically, procedural fairings allow you to make like cone shapes of any size you want. And I'm going to use it to make myself a beautiful rocket, okay? Uh, what does this have in it? Does this have any rocket fuel? You got any rocket fuel? It carries no fuel. God damn it, get out of here. Okay, we need something that carries fuel. We're going to try fuel tanks. That's probably where it's going to be. Now for the procedural fairings. Here we go. Okay, so we go to structural. No. No, yes. No. Aerodynamic. There we go. Okay. And we put on our base. This is our base ring, okay? Get on there. Get there. Okay. Now, you can actually adjust the size of this thing all you want. Uh, I don't know what button does it. I think you may need to put on a fairing first. We're going to go with egg shape, of course. I think you know where this is going, guys. Nah, maybe you don't. Well, you, you do because you know, the title of the video or the thumbnail or something is giving it away. But anyway, you can take this thing now uh, if you know what buttons to click. There. Okay, it's, it's coming up. Okay, you got to right-click on it. Cool. So we can increase the size now. We want it to be a little bit bigger than the rest of it, right? You know, you know what I'm saying, right? You want it to be a little bit bigger, of course. So, uh, yeah, you're going to have to go up to 1.5. Okay, 1.5 meters. Cool. I'm going to put this one on as well, uh, like that. There we go. Now we got a nice uh, little uh, a little head on our rocket ship. Good, good. It's nice, very nice. Now we need to uh, need to put some stuff on the bottom here. Okay, okay. So now, of course, got to have a look at it and make sure it looks nice and... Uh, you know, normal. It looks like a normal, a normal dong, of course. So now we go in here, and we're gonna go back to our aerodynamics again. Okay, I think I just about got it. It turns out that I can't exactly make these things spherical, okay? Testicles are kinda oval, so we're just gonna roll with it, okay? There we go. We gotta grab these things, put them up a little bit here. Put that down there. Oh no, now they look reverse! No, they're not symmetrical! You can't have that. You can't have non-symmetrical testicles, guys. Jeez. And there. Okay. This is the best I could do, guys. I hope you don't mind. I think it looks okay. I don't know if it'll get us to the sun or not. But there's one very important thing left, okay? If you're gonna fly to the sun, you need something to uh, enjoy the view with. Now we don't even have a uh, we don't even have a command station here yet. Jeez. Okay, I got it, guys. We're gonna take this remote guidance unit, put it on here, put back our procedural thingy, my bobber, and now we got. Uh, we got a little sum here, okay? And then we take another command thing here. We're going to put external control set on, okay? It needs to be perfectly lined up here. None of this bullshit. That looks about perfect. And we're going to ride a space dong into the sun. And it is going to be absolutely beautiful, okay? I don't know how much power we actually need to get there. Maybe I need to put on some uh, rockets and things until then. Okay, do you guys think that this could actually get into space? I didn't. I don't think I put an SAS module on this. God damn it! There's always something that got to go on here now, isn't there? Okay, so we can we can stick that inside the nose cone, can't we? Yeah, we can cover that up. No one's ever gonna know it's even there. Just grab the side off it. Here we go. Crap. Nope. There. Okay. Grab the side off and stick in a little SAS module. Advanced inline stabilizer. No, 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 no. Don't make the head bigger. I don't want to do that. Okay, I think we can actually stick this down here in there. Okay, cool. That is right in there. We got nothing to worry about. I almost feel like we should just launch our vehicle. I just need to make another quick check and make sure everything's good. So these go. This decouples. These things start going off a little while later. And then it decouples again. And then later on it decouples when we take our other side things off. And then we're just a space dong flying through space. So we need to make sure we get our guy going here first. So we're going to have to get, we're gonna have to get an orbit going. Wait! Shit, we don't have a guy. Where are we going to put our guy? Oh, God. Okay, let's try taking this off and putting a guy down here. No, 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 no. Do not go. No to Jesus. What have I done? What have I created? I'm going to I'm going to launch it and see. That's what I'm going to do. 
Holy crap. This is not what I had in mind. At all. Okay, brace the computer guys, because we are about to wreck some shit. Go! Oh, dear God. Let's just see how high up in the air we can get, okay? That is a lot of rockets. And I don't know what to couples win. I don't even think there's any, like, uh... I don't think there's any fuel lines here, and it's starting to overheat, which isn't good. But, uh, you know, if we can go, we can go. Oh, okay, we can't go. We can't go. Things just blew up. Okay, can we just have one guy here? We can't, we can't have two. Parts with crew capacity. Okay, okay, we got him in the lander can now. Good, 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 good. One guy, dude caught. So all I know, guys, is that the sun is really far away, right? That's, that's true. The sun is really far away in this game. It's going to take a while to get there. But other than that, I don't really know. I'm thinking we can just do a, do a, a, a rotation around it. This may not be enough to get us there. I don't know. This is the fun part, okay? This is the fun part is not knowing what the hell you're doing, but doing it anyway. Hit the stabilizers and throttle up, full throttle, and let's just go to space, okay? Okay, um, I'm not gonna speed up next time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it on regular speed. Okay, things are not going well. Oh, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Everything is fine. Point it in that direction. It was, it was really hard to control, but now it's not. Now it's good. What's our orbit at here? Oh, perfect. Let's stop. Cut the engines, bro. Now we can go in, in, a, in a faster speed because there's nothing pushing on us, okay? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. Okay. Has anybody seen the sun? I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a sun around here somewhere. It must be on the other side of the earth right now. That's fine. That's fine. We'll figure it out. Where is it? Hold on. It's over there. You see how far away that thing is? We're totally not going to be able to get there. We totally don't have enough fuel. I really don't know how much fuel it takes to get to the sun, guys. Okay. All I know is we're pretty much done our burn, which is nice. You just cut it in a second. Pressing X, Z, X. That's one of those two. Look, 1.3 meters per second. We're doing great. Okay. Now, here's where the fun part begins, okay? We gotta go, uh, let's go, let's go prograde. Okay. Prograde to our orbit. And we gotta pop old dude cock out. We gotta stick him on our, uh, on our little, uh, command pod thing. What is that called? An external command something. We're gonna stick him on there and he's gonna enjoy it. I ran out of electric charge, guys. I'm pretty sure you can get electric charge back by going like that. There you go. You get a little bit of electric charge or something. That'll allow me to stay around here. I don't really care. I'm a little bit off from where I'm supposed to be, but I have an orbit, okay? Get over it. Now, uh, what we need to do... I don't know if this is even going to work now because we have no freaking battery power or whatever. We're going to take this dude, okay? We're going to pop him out. We're going to get him to fly, okay? There we go. Now, you need to get up here on this uh, old donger. Go down with control. Don't don't go too crazy here now, buddy. Hang on, hang on. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna get him in. Board, board, board. Go down, down. Oh crap! For okay, zoom in. See what's going on here. Go up, up, down, and board. Yes. Okay, we are now on the spaceship, guys. Okay, we are we are sitting here. Look look at this. Oh, you're so happy. He's so happy to be flying through space. I don't know why he's screwed, but whatever. It's fine. It's fine. You see that sun over there? I don't know what we got to do for that. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. We're doing it, buddy. How you doing? How you doing, dude, cock? He's doing fine. He's enjoying life. That's good. We just need to burn a little bit. I think I may have burned too quick. Let's just slow this down a little bit, okay? We'll do a little bit more burning later, okay? Don't want to go too crazy. I don't think it really matters at all, okay? I don't even know if this is going to work, but this is us. That's the sun way on in there. This is complicated, okay? This is really complicated. I ran into some issues, guys, apparently. While I was trying to fly through space, something happened. And now my thingy is spinning a bunch. This is not good for, uh, for what I need to do. Let's try again. We're just gonna... Gah! This is what happens when you don't have any freaking... Cut, cut the engines. Cut, 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 cut. cut. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I am completely screwed. This is bad. What are we even doing right now? What even is the sun, guys? The sun is freaking far away. What am I doing with my life? This isn't going to work. Okay, according to this, we will fly into the sun if we do a 6,000 meter per second burn, guys. I don't even know if that's possible. I'm going to click on maneuver and I'm going to try it, okay? We're just going to throttle off a bit so we can change our, our current position because I don't have any freaking charge left, okay? Unfortunately, I had to revert the flight because I need to put battery power on this. It's no sense of trying to float around in space without batteries, okay? That's what I always say anyway. So we're going to stick some batteries somewhere on this thing. Oh, put them up here. 
Yeah, put him up in the cone. The freaking weird shaped cone that's kind of half and half right now for some reason. Oh, there's another one on there. Whoa, okay. Double cone. Okay, guys, I didn't want to have to do this, but I put on even more engines and fuel. I don't know if this is going to cause it to overheat super quick or not, but it should give us a lot more power to get to space. So we're going to do it, okay? This does not look good. I really should have put some struts in here. Oh, God. Okay, stop. Stop. No, wrong button. We're reverting. Ah, look how nice that is. No problems whatsoever, and we're going to get up there really quick, okay? I, I, I'm, I'm really confident this time. Probably still gonna suck. Please work. Damn it! No! It's taking things with it! We're flying away, everything's good. So you guys know how I said it takes a long time to record these videos. Well, it is now a day later because I actually had to stop. I got too impatient trying to get this thing to work properly. So I came back the next day and I'm ready to do it this time. And I think, I think everything is good, okay? We got everything strutted nicely and uh, I think we have enough power to actually get to the sun. We just need to slow ourselves down once we get out of Kerbin's orbit, and then we should just, like, fly into the sun. I don't even know if this is going to work. And why do we have two people in here? Dude, cock, I did not say you could have a friend, buddy, okay? Herless is going to have to stay here. Sorry. For some reason, one of the, uh, one of the thrusters wasn't working. It was stopping, and it was causing the entire thing to spin out of control. And now we're back up here, and I quick saved. I keep forgetting to do that. And it's really annoying because the load button is also my record start and stop button, so it gets kind of annoying. But I changed it, and everything should be fine, okay? We're gonna board, we're gonna sit on top of the dong, and we're gonna do it this time. Well, guys, I guess this is it. This is the best that I could do on the amount of fuel that we had. Look at it! We are so freaking close to the sun here. Only 927 million kilometers away. That's pretty good, you know? Okay, you gotta think big here. Think nice and big. Guys, I don't think this spaceship can get any bigger, or it's really going to cause my computer to have some issues. I think we're good, okay? I think we're good. Let's go. Forget it. Who cares? I think I actually managed to do it. I know this is kind of confusing right now because there's a lot of stuff on the screen, but you see that little blue line down by the sun here? See how it's... Well, you probably can't see, but it's slowly getting closer to the sun. And I'm pretty sure if I just slow down a little bit more, I'll actually hit the sun... After I advance time for like, I don't know how long, but, but, but of course, of course my Don keeps uh, going off course because it's uh, so uneven, but we got it, we got it. I think we're going to do it this time. All we got to do is just speed up some time. What does the purple mean? Purple, purple bad? Probably, purple's probably bad. That's cool. I like that. So according to the map, when we go to the sun, we're pretty much going to hit the center of it. I think that's still Earth over there or Kerbin. It's way over there and the sun is way on over there. You know, just moving a little bit, just moving uh, over here is going to be an extra few years, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. This is 157 days. We wanted to move over just a little bit here. Isn't that crazy? That is so much time. I think we ran out of uh, we ran out of juice. That's cool. We don't want to do anything crazy here. Just cut off our engines, have a look at the map, and see where we're going to go. Oh, would you look at that. We're going to go into the sun. Cool. Oh, look at this. We're about to penetrate the sun, guys. I don't know what's going to happen here, but it looks like we're about to penetrate the sun. Oh, we can't go faster than 10 times because we're below a certain certain distance here from the sun. So we just got to wait. Oh, Jesus. Jesus, look at this up top here. We're only 3,000 kilometers from the surface of the sun here now. And that's and then we're, we're changing it very quick. I don't know why we're measuring this in kilometers now. That's pretty damn far. So our little guy here seems to be doing pretty good. There's no uh, there's no EVA right now. I don't know why, but I can't get off my spaceship, which is which is okay, I guess. I don't know if I'd really want to get off at the moment. Pretty damn close to hitting the sun. You must be feeling pretty hot right now, buddy. Like, really hot. Oh, crap. We're about to hit the sun. We're about to hit the sun. No, we're not. It says we're going to. Oh, Jesus Christ. What was that? Okay, see, we're we are really high above this. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. That that was, was what I would consider hitting the sun with our dong. You guys would not believe how hard it is to get a ship up into space and make it penetrate the sun. But I somehow managed to do it. It took a lot of work. I had to go back into the vehicle assembly like 20 times. But finally, I achieved my goal of penetrating the sun. So I'm going to end this video here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kerbal Space Program. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.